been almost three months since Officer Thomas Wagstaff was shot in the head while responding to a burglary. Now he's making huge strides in his recovery at a rehab facility in Nebraska. Today, the Independence Police Department and local fire departments had a friendly competition on his behalf. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake was there for the action. Well, right now it's guns versus hoses, and this net is the only thing that's separating them right now. It's a big community coming out, continually showing support for one of their own, Officer Tom Wagstaff. Independence police officers and firefighters took to the sand to duel it out, raising money for Officer Tom Wagstaff, who was shot in the head while responding to a burglary in March. Truly one big family, whether it's uh, the thin red line, the thin blue line, whatever it is. Even people who aren't first responders came out. This is just a great tournament. The turnout is just phenomenal. You know, we always support, my whole team supports every first responder out there. It's just awesome to see hundreds of people still coming out and, and wanting to help out any way they can. We'll, we'll take that. And they're playing with positive news on their mind. Yay! Officer Wagstaff is now fully self-sufficient. He has no tubes, no, um, no wires, no IVs. Uh, he's breathing on his own. He can speak. He speaks to his family, his friends. Uh, he remembers everybody. And uh, not only does his family um, go up there and visit him, but uh, the IPD family goes up there and visits him regularly, too. They're planning a huge homecoming when Wagstaff comes back from rehab in Nebraska. They say it's what a true hero deserves. We all realize this is a miracle. Fortunately, we get to say that uh, Officer Wagstaff will be here to enjoy this one day with us. In Blue Springs, Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.